This is going to be a quick step-by-step -step guide on how we bring images into Illustrator and convert them into stickers. First thing we do is we bring our design into Illustrator. In this case, we're using a PNG raster image. If we zoom in on the image, we can see that it's pixelated and it is not in fact a vector image. Once we have that, we can come up to properties, come up to our size, pick the size we want to use. We're going to use a four inch sticker. Now we can come over to layers, duplicate the layers, and this will give us a top layer and a bottom layer. From here, we're going to work only with the top layer. So we'll deselect our bottom. I want to hit control A, come over to properties, come over to image trace and come down to silhouettes. Before deselecting, come over to expand and now our raster image has been converted into a vector. Now we can come up to Pathfinder, come over to merge and unite and that'll clear up any interior openings or smaller vectors within the larger one. With that still selected, let's go over to properties, let's come over to fill, turn off our fill and let's give it a stroke. Here we're going to use the magenta swatch and we're going to rename it to cut contour three. We're going to change the color type to spot color and that's going to let the machine know where the contour cut line is. That way the blade knows where to run around the sticker. Once we've done that, we can see that the swatch has changed and it has this bottom right white corner. Now let's come over to our stroke width and select the smallest stroke available. And now we can zoom in and we can see our cut path. If we come over to layers, turn on the bottom layer, we can see that the magenta cut line runs right at the edge of our sticker. In this case, we don't actually want the cut to be right at the edge. We want it to be offset. So with the top layer selected, let's go over to object, path, offset path, and let's give this a 1 8 offset with the joins being round. Once we hit OK, we can see our new offset and our interior one. We can select all, come over to Pathfinder, unite them, and now we have our exterior cut line. If we turn on our bottom layer, we can now see how the contour runs around our sticker. And from here, we can send it off to our printer and our cutter to make die cut stickers. However, one thing to consider before sending off the cut contour is coming over here to the direct selection tool, clicking on our path and looking at all of the nodes that run around the cut contour. In this case, we don't have too many, but it's still a good idea to clean these up to make the cut contour run smoother and have the printer and the cutter do less processing. We can come over here to the smooth tool and we can run it around the curves and that'll clean them up and smooth them out. Another way to do this, if you don't want to use the smooth tool and it's much faster, it's coming up to object, path, and simplify. This will get rid of any unnecessary nodes and clean up the path, giving you a smoother cut and less jagged edges and corners. One more thing to consider before sending it off is deselecting our cut contour, selecting our actual image, coming up to object and flattening our image. I use the default settings here. They seem to work fine. And that'll flatten it and get rid of any lines or cut paths that might have popped up or been inside the original image and confuse the cutter or the printer.
Now our file is done. We can come up to File, Save As, come down to EPS, and we're all set.